Got everything packed for tomorrow. Um, first drift event with the uh, the, uh, the Laurel here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys how everything is. It's almost like this car was set up to to go on weekends. Yes, he's in here. But I've uh, the rear wheels. I'm gonna have a the battery charger there. In the trunk, I have the two front 17s stacked. A extra jack. All of the wood tools. I'm gonna try to find a place to put this, which is just extra fluids and another jack. So yeah, everything. Uh, hey, Fluffy. Everything fits perfect. Um, really excited for tomorrow. I'm gonna be leaving middle of the day. Um, I don't know what the alignment is on this car. That's the only thing I don't know is the alignment. I've never had this car aligned. The only thing I've done is uh, I've adjusted the uh, the top hats on the front coilovers just to match up the uh, the camber uh, because one side when I got the car one side was uh, more negative camber than the other, so I matched them up. But I have no idea what the alignment is. I don't know what the the camber or the toe or the caster anything is. Never had the car aligned. Um, uh, but from the few uh, little slides I've done, the car feels great. Um, yesterday, I uh, went over everything on the car, um, front to rear, uh, that being the uh, just the suspension. I went over uh, the coilovers, uh, all the suspension arms. Uh, the passenger tension rod was a little bit loose. The inner bolt was loose. So I tightened that up, I torqued that down. So everything's good to go as far as uh, uh, the bolts uh, everywhere, the tight, uh, everything's tightened up. Um, I went ahead and checked uh, all the, um, sorry that truck's uh, distracting. All of the, uh, the intercooler piping, I went ahead and checked the couplers there because I was getting a little bit of boost flutter, uh, full throttle, um, the, the, the boost was kind of um, fluttering between like, uh, you know, 10 and 12 PSI. Um, so I uh, tightened all that up and it seemed to have helped a little bit. I floored it uh, down the street a little while ago just to test that out. Um, and the last thing I did was uh, I topped up the oil. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He really likes this car. Um, I think it's the way it smells or something. I don't know. So yeah, uh, I'll make sure to... I get as much video tomorrow of, uh, of in-car shots. Um, I didn't have time to buy an extra battery for this GoPro. Um, so I'm just going to run on the one battery. I'm going to make sure it's charged for tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, I'm on the way to the event. Um, I only got about an hour of uh, battery life in this fully charged GoPro. Uh, so I'm going to try to not make too long of a video here and I'm going to try to uh, get a few of the runs uh, video and of course that's the whole reason why I brought the camera with me. I'll also go ahead and uh, maybe walk around the parking lot and see some of the cars there. It's always fun to see what, what cars are at each event because this event is uh, it's called Grip and Drift so there's multiple groups. Driving, uh, it's gonna be cool, so we'll see what's there. 
interstate just because of the town I live in. Uh, the roads are terrible. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. I'm on my way. We'll see you there. Made it to the track. And uh, I will end it here. Just wanted to say the car made it fine. I'm going to save my battery for the track. So we'll see you out there. ここがカックンカックンここでカックンってなるんですこの辺がクリップですね こんな感じ。はい、こんな感じ行きますよ。さ、早い車3速。えっと、そうじゃない車2速。
I just left the track. Car did fantastic. This is really what drifting is all about. Hopefully I can make it back home. I have a 90 mile drive, hour and a half. Drive down to the track an hour and a half. Drive the whole event, even though with my run group, it was only maybe, uh, you know, five to maybe seven laps per session. But still, you know, being able to drive down, drive the event, all I had to do was put the drift spears on and go. And now I'm driving home, put the normal wheels back on. That's really what drifting's all about. No crashes, no problems with the car. There were some people who did have some crashes. There was a, one really bad crash of an RX-7. Um, the whole front end went into the wall. But yeah, you know, that's, that's really what drifting's all about. You know, it's just about having fun. I finally got to got you know get, get back on track after a very long time. Uh, this is my first real drift event. Um, it went great. The car feels great. Of course, now the car needs a little bit of an alignment. Uh, but one thing I noticed on track uh, is uh, a couple of times I went full lock, and uh, I don't know if this car has aftermarket or it's not aftermarket, but extended uh, lower control arms but if this car has a lot of angle I'm really surprised but yeah the car did great I have no idea what the alignment is um, it's whatever the alignment was from you know Japan you know whenever I purchased it but the car felt great um, and it just it rips you know 260 horsepower it doesn't seem like a lot in, in this day and age but uh, with these crappy you know shout out to you Zach if you ever watch this video uh, the guy I bought these, uh, the wheels and tires for $40. Uh, they're just some crappy Uni Royals, 215.45s, and they did great. I mean, at the end of the session, they were toast, uh, the rears at least. But, the, you know, it, it was super easy to slide. Um, I know with more seat time, and I'm going to get more comfortable with everything. Uh, on a couple of the runs, the e-brake... The e uh, handle the actual grip is the factory grip and to get the e-brake button off to install the actual drift spin turn knob I had to cut the, the bottom of it because it was just glued on for so long it wouldn't budge and uh, with the bottom of it being cut the grip every time I pull the e-brake the grip would actually knock up a little bit so it would actually put the spin turn knob in the lock position and so it would keep my e-brake on so I had to take that off after the first run um, you might see that in uh, a couple of the runs I did I, the e-brake was on because of the stupid grip but man this car is amazing so e it's so easy to slide it I mean of course um, you know whatever the setup is I don't know but it's just so easy to slide so easy to control um, it really reminds me of my s14 I mean I guess because it, it halfway is being that it has s14 suspension but it's so easy to handle and keep control of it and even if you didn't want to use the e-brake I actually tried not using the e-brake uh, for a couple of the runs just doing you know brake you know, using the brake for weight transfer and um, it's just so great. So I'm gonna get off here for now. I'm gonna get on the interstate. Don't wanna get pulled over for having a camera in my hand. Hope you guys have a great night. Hope you like this video and uh, we'll see you next time.